Hey, Tucson says, how can I see my value? Great question. In order to see your value, you must know where your value stems from. In order to see your value, you have to see how God values you. The Bible says you are fearfully and wonderfully made. That means when God made you, he made you with such reverence that he respected you before you could even respect him. He reverenced you before you even had the opportunity or came to the awareness to reverence him. That's how much he, he took his time in making you. Then it begins to go into the fact that he wonderfully made you, meaning, meaning that he made you one of one, made you so unique that nobody else can match how you think, can match your physique, can match what, what you how you critique. If they can't match that. You're one of one. The issue is many of us, our value stems from those who don't know how to interpret value or from experiences that makes us feel invaluable or systems that make us feel invaluable, circumstances that makes us feel invaluable. But when you know that your value comes from God, then you will begin to have your mind renewed and then you will uh, be detached from the temptations of comparison. Then you'll begin to see that there is no comparison to you, not for you to gloat or boast in, but for you to be in awe of the wonderful handiwork of the Father that formed and fashioned you in your mother's womb. So in order for you to see your value, you must see your value from God's vantage point and see uh, 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 um, your inherent value, your inherent worth that nothing under the sun can determine. God is the only one that determines worth. He's the only one that determines value. But when we remove ourselves off the God standard, then all of a sudden we depreciate in value. But when you understand that Jesus lived the life that you were supposed to, died the death that you were supposed to, that even though what Adam and Eve did in the, gar in the Garden of Eden detached us from God's standard, and we begin to depreciate value due to sin nature and the flawlessness of us, there was a perfect one who lived the life that we were supposed to, came through the womb of a virgin woman, lived this life pure, shed his blood, sacrificed the himself. No one took his life. He said he laid down his life and so that we'll be able to have life and life more abundantly so that we'll have the blood on us and his imputed righteousness on us so that when we stand right now, we stand as if we never sinned because of the spotless, sinless lamb that gave his life for us. That right there now boosted us back to the God standard and now our value is unblemished. And so when you understand the gospel and you begin to understand the creation, then you begin to understand your value to the world. Now, how you begin to, uh, 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 now the goal is, is not only for you to see how God values you, then you got to shift to see how valuable you are and then invest in your value so other people can see your value and, and benefit from it. So now you got to see your value right on a sheet of paper. All of the gifts and talents that God has placed in you. What makes you different? What makes you unique? What makes you uh, awesome? What makes you fearfully and wonderfully made? Write those things down. But you got to make sure that the ultimate, your ultimate confidence and value must come from God alone. Not how much money you have, not what kind of physique you have, not what kind of uh, uh, friends you have, but solely on the fact that God determines your value. Then that will create a confidence in you that stems from Christ, the one that shed his life for you. Then you'll begin to see, hey, uh, the world is not the standard. I'm a pilgrim passing through. And then you will begin to see because I'm valuable and my value comes from God. Now I'm going to focus on becoming valuable to the marketplace, to be become valuable to, to, to your marriage, to become valuable to your children by refining your skills and reverencing that the, 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 that the gifts and talents that God has given you was entrusted to you. Then now you have a responsibility to turn those gifts and talents into value. To make you valuable, 
And then all of a sudden you begin to see the transference of value coming from God to yourself, to the marketplace. And then you start having value brought back to yourself. So that's how you can see value in your life. Now you also ask,